Hi friends, it's good to see you today. I have a book for us today that is a part of a series. Remember, a series is a group of books that are, have the same characters and are written by the same author. This is a book about my friend Bear. And in this book, Bear does not feel well. He feels very sick. And Bear doesn't have a mom and dad to take care of him, so all of his friends come over and take care of him instead. This book is called Bear Feels Sick. It was written by Karma Wilson. She's the author. She wrote the words. It was illustrated by Jane Chapman. That means that Jane drew the pictures. Let's find out what happens when Bear feels sick. There he is, he's heading into his den. Here's our title page, Bear Feels Sick. Karma Wilson, she's the author, she wrote the words. Illustrations by Jane Chapman. That means that Jane drew the pictures. You got it, friends. Alone in his cave, the, as the autumn wind blows, Bear feels achy with a stuffed up nose. Nose blows. I heard a rhyme. He tosses and turns all huddled in a heap. Bear feels tired, but he just can't sleep. Did you hear a rhyme? He sniffs and he sneezes. He whiffs and he wheezes. And the bear feels sick. Aw, oh, poor guy. His friends gather around. Come out, Bear. Come and play. Bear shakes his head. I'm too sick today. Mouse mutters. Oh, my. Bear's head is too hot. Hare says, we will help. Here's a warm, cozy spot. Remember, a hare is another word for a rabbit. Bear mumbles and moans. He grumbles and groans. And the bear feels sick. Mouse squeezes bear tight. He whispers in his ear, it'll be just fine. Your friends are all here. Badger fetches the water, gopher cooks the broth, while mole sues bear with a cool, wet cloth. All of his friends have a different job to do. They cover up bear and he drinks from a cup, but he still feels sick. Man, that happens to us sometimes, no matter what our moms and dads or grandmas and grandpas or aunties and uncles do, we still feel sick. Bear's the same way. Raven says, Caw! Come along, owl and wren. Those are two different kinds of birds. A wren is a very small bird. You can see her right here. Let's go gather herbs and bring them back to the den. They coax Bear to sip. Coax means that they try to get him to. They say, please Bear, please try. Just a smidgen, that's a small amount of tea. You'll feel better soon, says Mouse. Wait and see. Oh, they're trying their best. Bear shakes and he shivers. He coughs and he quivers. And he still feels sick. Sounds like Bear might have the flu. He is shaking, he might have a fever. Aw, oh, even under a blanket. The friends fuss and fret. The friends cook and care. They keep a close eye on their poor, sick Bear. Look at what they're doing. They're feeding him. We've got a nice fire to keep him warm. They've even drawn him pictures to decorate for him. They're doing all sorts of things to help Bear. They talk in whispers. They walk on tippy toes. They sing lullabies. And then the bear starts to 
doze. What do you think doze means? It means to fall asleep. They watch Bear for hours. We've done all we could. Then Bear wakes up. What do you think he's gonna say when he wakes up? Is he gonna say, I still feel sick? Or something else? And Bear feels good. Oh, he's so happy. Bear cries, I'm all better. I'm feeling like new. I'm not hot and achy. It's all thanks to you. Let's celebrate now. Let's go out and play. Let's jump in the leaves. Let's frolic all day. Then Mouse starts to wheeze. And hair starts to sneeze. What's happening? I think so. The friends feel sick. What will Bear do? You think so? Let's see if you're right. Bear murmurs, don't worry, and tucks them in bed. He bundles them up and kisses each head. Is that what you thought? I was a little surprised, but looks like Bear is gonna take care of them. He tells all his friends, you'll soon feel like new. You took care of me, now I'll take care of you. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Here's a picture of Wren. Going to get some new herbs for them. Oh, I love Bear. He was so kind and thoughtful. He didn't feel well and his friends took care of him. And then when his friends got sick, he returned the favor. Being a friend is a two-way street. When your friends do kind things for you, you can do kind things for them. Bear is a really, really good friend and I loved reading about him. I hope you guys have a great day.